What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video here today. My name's Jared Beckwith and today we're going to get into the concept of what programming language should you learn in 2019. So there's many different kinds of languages. You got Python, you got C+, you got C++, you got C, C Sharp. Guys, it could go on forever and ever. So number one, if you want to go into uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning like like making uh these algorithms like people can make machine learning algorithms that can teach a computer to be all the different classic atari games that happened like five years ago and also like a machine learning algorithm that can play chess alpha zero is equipped with two key components one deep neural networks which is a way to process information that are inspired by biological systems, like the brain. And two, a general reinforcement learning algorithm. That basically means AlphaZero knows nothing beyond the rules of the game. No opening theory. No endgame table bases. It simply plays from scratch and continually improves from every game it plays against itself. Well, it certainly learned by playing against itself. It did this for just four hours, and then went on to defeat the 2016 top chess engine champion Stockfish 8 in a 100-game match. Let that sink in for a moment. Chess is nearly 1,500 years old, and after all these years spent acquiring knowledge about the game, we're bested by Alpha Zero after it learned for just four hours. The final tally, the final result of this 100-game match, Alpha Zero won 28 games with 72 draws, and every good math student knows how many losses. The game I'd like to share with you, Alpha Zero is playing with the black pieces. This is one of three games Alpha Zero won with black. Uh, there is an advantage playing with the white pieces, having the first move of the game is an advantage. So, how did Alpha Zero manage to win? when playing with black let's find out or minesweeper if you if you guys know about minesweeper you know that game's almost close to impossible so sit back relax and watch as we crush some minesweeper okay this is a hard day challenge let's see how big a game this ai can take You can make intelligent machines. You can also uh, data science. Python is used a lot for data science. That's what I've been studying into, data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence. But there's also a lot of other languages like JavaScript, for example, which is really good for the front end web development, like making web pages. It's pretty easy to make uh, little games in that too. I think I think this one guy I know he made Tetris and JavaScript so maybe you guys are gonna want to check that out if you want to get into like web development uh, maybe learn some PHP learn PHP that's for like back-end software development I think I, I don't know much about that language yet but I'm learning and also C++ that's that's a really that's a really efficient language if you want to run something at a high level like a virtual reality video game, like something that takes a lot of processing or like a PS4 game, it's gonna, it's gonna take some C++ most likely, at least for a little bit of it. Cause, but the bad part about C++ is cause it takes a long time to code. It takes a long time when there's other languages that can be a lot more efficient and take you less time, so. I'm just on this journey as well. Uh, I'm learning more about these languages every single day. Uh, right now I'm focused on Python, maybe learn a little bit of PHP, uh, maybe some JavaScript to create some games or see if I can create some games in Python and then make artificially intelligent games that can play themselves. So for, for example, like a, a 2D self-driving car, there's like a MIT, MIT competition thing. All you need is a browser. You don't need any coding software or anything. You just open it up it's MIT 
www.selfdrivingcars.edu. Check it out. It's called Deep Traffic just, or just Google Deep Traffic. You guys can check out the competition. You make a 2D self-driving car game. Speed limit's 80 miles an hour. You try to make it go as fast as possible. Uh, I've been working on that. You gotta build the, like a, the, the artificial intelligence in the car to make it know how to drive and weave in and out of traffic without crashing or getting slowed down too much by traffic. And your highest average speed ends up being your high score. So I'm, I'm gonna put some more work into that competition. I got up to 69 miles an hour. In the beginning, it, it gives you a super basic one. It'll probably get like 50 miles an hour, but you wanna get up to near like 70, 75 miles an hour. Cause that'll mean your artificial intelligence is super genius and you can build a 2D self-driving car game. But anyways, thank you all for watching. That's it for today. Check out these programming languages. I'm gonna keep making more videos and I'm also gonna update you guys on this MIT self-driving car competition that I'm gonna look into some more. You guys let me know in the comments what do you wanna see in future videos. Hit that like button of course and I'll see you guys on the next video.